You can imagine that simulating the weather of the entire Earth all at once is a big job. Managing the resources to accomplish that goal is one of the responsibilities of NCAR's Scientific Computing Division, or SCD, which occupies over 15,000 square feet in the first basement of Mesa Laboratory. SCD operates 24 hours per day, 365 days each year, and is in fact perhaps the largest and most sophisticated atmospheric computing facility found anywhere in the world. Now let us begin our tour. The Cray YMP 8864 was installed at NCAR in May 1990. It contains eight parallel processors capable of performing over one billion floating point calculations per second. The input-output system, IOS, and the solid-state storage device, SSD, are contained in the two wings which make up the YMP-8's configuration. The SSD provides 256,064-bit words of electronic storage, similar to random access memory or RAM. The input-output subsystem controls the flow of data moving back and forth between the YMP-8 mainframe and the other computer systems elsewhere in the room. The YMP 2D 216 was installed in June 1991. The YMP 2D supported by the Model Evaluation Consortium for Climate Assessment, or MECA, is devoted entirely to climate modeling research. It contains two processors and 16 million words of random access memory, RAM. The IOS and SSD are contained in the wedge which is located near the mainframe. The YMP2D performs between one-half and one billion floating-point calculations per second. Disk storage for the YMP8 is provided by 16 DD49 disk drives, each storing 1.2 gigabytes of data, and 8 DD40 disk drives, each storing 5.2 gigabytes of data. The YMP2D has four DD41 disk drives, each storing 4.9 gigabytes of data. To the right of the DD49s is the intermediate disk storage, which consists of 24 IBM 3380 disk storage units, each providing 5 billion bytes of storage for a total of 120 billion bytes of fast access storage. These disk drives are used for temporary intermediate storage of archived data files that are accessed most frequently by SCD's users. The Storage Tech 4400 Automated Cartridge System, ACS, a fully automated information storage system, was installed October 1989. Early in 1992, the ACS held approximately one terabyte of data. With new equipment, which is expected to be installed by year's end, the storage capacity will increase to four terabytes. In the center of the ACS is a freestanding robotic assembly that retrieves, mounts, and demounts 18-track cartridges. The robot is able to retrieve and deliver a cartridge in an average time of 11 seconds. NCAR is a member of the Center for Applied Parallel Processing, or CAP. CAP's connection machine is a massively parallel computer which is manufactured by Thinking Machines Corporation and has 8,192 processors, which operate simultaneously on different data items in memory, thus speeding up computation enormously. CAP scientists use the connection machine to solve problems in areas such as oceanography, climate modeling, turbulence, computer vision, and genetic coding. The connection machine is also being used by the Scientific Computing Division to benchmark the growth of parallel processors for future development. Throughout the computer room, you can see small boxes in white cabinets labeled network systems. These small boxes, in effect, translate the data, often in different computer languages, and compensate for various designs among the machines in the network, so that different forms of information can be used together. In this area of the computer room is the Gandalf Port Contention Device, or PAX which is, in effect, a sophisticated switchboard that can handle up to 1,000 incoming and outgoing calls at once. The PAX provides links to a variety of systems for interactive and batch jobs that are lined up waiting for access. By using satellite dishes like this one here at NCAR, researchers at remote sites can access data or submit jobs to the NCAR computing system. NCAR also has a place, or is a node, on a national system called the National Science Foundation Network Backbone, which links all the NSF-funded supercomputing centers. Through the technologies of communications, 
local area networks, wide area networks, network gateways, user workstations, and window interfaces. SCD assimilates the user nodes into an integrated environment with the mainframes and network servers of the computing facility. The Scientific Computing Division is responsible for the operation of many Unix-based servers and workstations, the majority of which are Sun systems of various types. These computers are used by the SCD staff and users for program development, computer documentation, file servers, and communication gateways. This section of the computer room is the console area. Here operators monitor all of the computer hardware. These consoles alert the operators to bottlenecks that could slow down traffic on the network and to erratically performing programs, as well as computers having hardware failures. The consoles also inform the operators when tapes need to be mounted. Our peripheral read-write devices consist of half-inch tape drives, cartridge systems, and 8mm video cassette drives. The console operators control the restart procedures when it's necessary to bring a device back up after it's been shut down for maintenance or after an equipment failure. IBM 3490 and Storage Tech 4480 dual data cartridge storage systems provide 12 cartridge drives for intermediate and archival storage. These drives require that cartridges be mounted manually by the operations staff. A tape cartridge holds more than twice the data of a half-inch, 2,400-foot magnetic tape reel. Its smaller size and faster data access speed make it preferable. As of June 1992, 26 terabytes of data reside on approximately 100,000 of these cartridges. The IBM 3090 controls the IBM 3490 tape cartridge system, the IBM 3380 disk farm, the IBM 3420 tape drives, the Storage Tech 4480 cartridge system, Storage Tech 4400 automatic cartridge system, two Xerox 4050 laser printers, and 8mm video cassette drives. These are SCD's two Xerox 4050 laser printers. They can produce 50 pages per minute of printed text or graphics. Today, computer output is no longer just in the form of numbers. SCD's computer graphics department can provide more usable output for scientists in the form of images which can be animated. Most graphic output is produced by four Dicomed D48 film recorders. Two are dedicated to color film output, and the other two are dedicated to black and white film output. The film processing system utilized at NCAR was designed and developed specifically for NCAR's needs by members of the SCD staff. SCD also supports the production of 16 millimeter movie film from the data the computers produce. The old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words, is very true, but animation provides even more information. Scientists can easily take this portable data with them when they give seminars or travel to other research institutions. Many jobs utilize SCD's graphics output capabilities. In fact, the SCD graphics output group processes over 100 billion bits of data, resulting in the production of 900,000 frames of film per month. During 1992, in response to changing user demands, videotape became available as an additional output medium, giving local and remote scientists the ability to produce high-quality animation simply and effectively. Initial formats include VHS, Super VHS, 3-quarter-inch U-Matic, and 3-quarter-inch U-Matic SP. Additional formats will become available dictated by user demand. The floor of the computer room is carpeted with special anti-static carpet tiles, allowing the normal static charge of the human body to discharge into the floor rather than into the equipment. This prevents accidental damage to the sensitive circuitry within the computers. The floor is also elevated about 26 inches above the concrete underfloor. The elevated floor allows room for intricate and complex wiring for the various computer systems, as well as directing the cool air supply to the computer systems. The computer room must be kept at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, plus or minus 5 degrees, and at 45% relative humidity to ensure proper operation of the computer systems. This view shows the console, which monitors various environmental concerns, such as temperature and humidity. It also monitors fire alarm status. 
When any of these parameters are out of bounds, an alarm sounds, calling the operation staff to immediate action. Many motors and blowers in the room make for a slightly noisier and cooler environment than most people are accustomed to. Large motor generators convert 60 hertz power to the 400 hertz power required by the Cray supercomputers and their disk controllers. The entire Cray system, including all peripherals, requires 347 kilowatts of 400 hertz power and 83 kilowatts of 208 and 120 volt 60 hertz power per hour. Computers demand a constant flow of clean electrical power. Any sudden drop, surge, or slow reduction or brownout of power can be damaging to the computer equipment. To help prevent this damage to equipment and interruption of service to our users, most of the communication system's small and medium scale equipment is hooked to a battery powered uninterruptible power supply, UPS. When needed, this battery system can supply power to the equipment for approximately 15 minutes. If the power problem has not been resolved by this time, operators are able to shut down the equipment in an orderly manner. Now that we've taken a look at the equipment operated by SCD, let's follow a typical off-site job through the computing facility. An atmospheric scientist would like to test a theory he or she has about rainfall patterns. The scientist first develops a program and algorithms offline and defines the SCD's archive data that will be used during the program run. The program is transmitted to NCAR via phone, various networks, or satellite. The scientist's program is sent to the Cray YMPH supercomputer via the NCAR mainframe and server network, MASNET. Archive data needed by this program is acquired from SCD's tape cartridges or the intermediate disk storage. This data is loaded onto the disk drives of the Cray YMP-8. The scientist's program makes its way to the top of the program queue, enters the Cray YMP-8, and processing begins. As the program is run, results are saved to disk files. These results will be delivered to the scientist at his or her discretion in the form of digital transmission, magnetic tape, paper, videotape, or film. The researcher reviews the results to determine the accuracy of his or her theory. If more tests are required, they can be performed in the same manner as before, accessing the same or other sets of data available at NCAR. The researcher may also wish to consult with others about his or her work. SCD maintains a staff of consultants specifically for this purpose. The scientist can confer with members of the SCD programming staff, computing specialists, or other scientists doing similar research. This video was produced in the spring of 1992. Remember that computing technology is being improved and updated constantly. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Scientific Computing Division at NCAR. If you desire more information about systems covered in this tour, please see the window display or you may contact the receptionist.